Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? I'm in this motherfucker. Turn up. Take the other one off. Today, I wanted to do a video about the new Puff Fet or Ross Fet. I know a lot of people will correct me for that, but I wanted to do a video on their new drop and kind of go over it and buy something from the collection. So, if you remember from their last drop, I bought a blue sweatshirt and I liked it a lot. It fit a little bit too slim, so I ended up selling it. But I liked it. So when I went on Grail to buy this, I kind of realized that the resale was a lot lower than it was for that. I believe the blue sweatshirt I bought at the time was about 300 And this new drop was sitting right around retail. But I didn't really think that much of it. I kind of just went for it. So what I ended up buying is this black crew neck with the orange kind of Rising Sun flag logo embroidered on the chest. And then some embroidery on the back. I like the design of it and I like the colors of it. Right when I took it out of the packaging, I kind of realized something. What that was was that the quality was a lot different than the sweatshirt I'd gotten from the previous drop. And I kind of almost knew right away that it was a Gildan crew neck. It doesn't have any Gildan specific branding on it, but it feels like a Gildan. It's that cheap like 50 poly, 50 cotton fleece that's really thin and if you wash it three times it falls apart. When I posted it online it kind of confirmed that a lot of people were saying it was Gildan. I know a lot of people are wondering why is this, why did Gosher decide to use Gildan for this drop? And I've heard some people say maybe the first drop didn't sell as well as he wanted and he decided to drop the quality on it. And while that might be the case, I kind of have my own theory about this. This is obviously all speculation but this is what I think at least is the reason for the Gildan. I think what Gosha is trying to do with Ross Vet, he's trying to target the market that right now like Off-White Retail, V-Loan, maybe a little bit of Anti-Social Club is occupying. And if you look at Gosha's mainline brand, and I know Ross Vet's associated with Gosha, it's not supposed to be Gosha, but if you look at Gosha's mainline brand, it's a fashion label, there's different cuts, there's different fabrics, it's all cut and sewn, it's not that accessible. It doesn't fit every body type. Some things fit really slim, some things fit really short. And I think with Roth's face, he's trying to target the higher priced, cheaper quality, and super accessible brand. Like I said, that off-white retail is taking up. That V-Loan, rest in peace, was taking up. I don't think there's anything wrong with this, but I think what also ties into this a little bit is how he's kind of using the same logos. So if you look at the first drop and this drop, there's a lot of reoccurring things like the back embroidery, the chest embroidery, and there is some new designs in it, and obviously there's a lot of new colors, but he's kind of trying to reuse the same logo, again, like an off-white or a V-Loan, recycling the same patterns and logos. And clearly this type of brand works because it can build a lot of hype. And a lot of times the people in this market don't really care about a Gildan or a cheaper quality item. Now, I'm not sure how limited he tried to make it, but my friend went to Dover Street. He said that a lot of the things were sitting and also that the t-shirts were probably also Gildan. And I know a lot of people are disappointed in this. I want to know what you think. Are you disappointed? Because for me personally, when I buy a Gosha product or in the past a Ross Fed product, I expect kind of a certain level of quality. And now it's Gildan. It's a little disappointing when you spend a certain amount of money on something and you get a Gildan piece. One positive thing I will say, this is the first Gosha thing I bought in that fits true to size. So this is a size large, it fits like a normal Gildan. And I don't necessarily mind the fit of a Gildan either. Kind of going over the rest of the collection, I really like the pants, I think the colors are good. I like the logo we did on them. I like the colors of the hoodies, I like the sleeve detail, I like the colors of the crewnecks as well. The t-shirts look kind of similar to like a band tee, but again, they aren't bad. The colors on them are nice, and obviously Ross Vet has a super strong brand image. Yeah, I want to know what you think. Did any of you buy it and were disappointed? Does this make you not want to buy it? Let me know. But I appreciate you all for watching. My name is Jacob. I love you all. Peace out and take care.